Hello everyone, this is Ravi from Lama Index. Welcome to another video in this series of videos on building LLM applications with Lama Index and Cloud3. So in this video, we'll look into building a rack pipeline that will route user queries as well as answer complex uh, queries uh, using router query engine and uh, sub question query engine abstractions available with Lama Index. So let's get started with it. So we have seen uh, a basic rack stack wherein given a document, we'll create chunks, push it into vector DB or in memory vector index. And during querying stage, we we'll retrieve uh, certain chunks and send it to response in this module to generate a response uh, using LLM, right? So we have uh, created a basic uh, rack pipeline using Cloud A3 Opus model in the uh, last video. So, but often uh, the user queries can be uh, a summarization queries or maybe uh, queries that uh, can be answered with specific context. So we have a vector store index to answer specific context queries and we have a summary index for uh, answering summarization queries. But in real world situation, we really don't know um, uh, what type of user query can come, right? So how do you decide uh, to which index or to which query engine to uh, post this specific user query. So that's where uh, router query engine will be helpful. So router query engine will route the user query to specific uh, query engine or index. Uh, so here, what is the revenue of Uber in 2021? This can be answered specifically uh, by using vector store index by uh, taking the specific context from the of the given document and uh, generate an answer accordingly. Let's say, but uh, if you have a uh, query such as summarize a given document, then you probably need to go through the whole document and use summary index for, uh, for answering the question, right? So router query engine will route the uh, given query. Internally, it uses LLM to write the given query to uh, you know, th these query engines available. So that way, uh, you can use router query engine to route queries to different indices or query engines. The next one is, um, having complex queries such as uh, compare revenue growth of Uber and Lyft from 2020 to 2021. And you have uh, indexed uh, Uber 10K filings and Lyft 10K filings. So in this case, uh, what do you do? Uh, if I have a Uber 10K filings and Lyft 10K filings uh, documents, what I do is I get the revenue growth of Uber and Lyft from 2020 to 2021 separately and then uh, concatenate both of them, uh, get a uh, summarization from the, both the answers uh, with this specific to the query, right? So we can do the same thing with the sub question query engine uh, abstraction available in the Lama index. So what it does is it creates a query plan uh, for the given query. So for the given query, compare revenue growth of Uber and Lyft from 2020 to 2021, I created a, a two separate queries. What is the revenue growth of Uber from 2021? And then what is the revenue growth of Lyft from 2020 to 2021? And uh, it uses the specific query engines, get answers, and then consolidates the final answer for the given query, right? So that's how you can uh, create a query plan for a complex query, uh, such as uh, compare and contrast across different documents or uh, um, Probably uh, an example question is compare and contrast the customer segments and geography that grew the fastest. So these are some complex queries that uh, need uh, sub uh, query plans, right? So you can use sub question query engine in those cases. So let's uh, go with the, these two query engines concepts and see uh, a quick walkthrough of the notebooks. So in this notebook, we'll look into router query engine uh, to route the user query to one of the available query engine tools or the indices um, that we have seen earlier. Uh, we'll uh, install with Lama Index, Anthropic LLM and uh, Hugging Face Embedding because Anthropic doesn't have any embedding model. We'll use uh, open source available Hugging Face Embedding uh, currently. We'll set up the logging and then you need Anthropic API key to run this notebook. And then uh, we'll uh, set the LLM and embedding model accordingly, the Opus embedding uh, LLM and then uh, BGB's uh, English V1.5 embedding model. 
and then we'll set the uh, LLM embedding uh, and the chunks as 512 for this uh, entire process. We'll download the document, which is a program essay document, load the document, and we'll create both the indices vector store index and then summary index for uh, answering different type of queries. And we'll accordingly create uh, two different query engines, create tools on top of it, so that uh, the LLM decides which tool to use for the given query, right? And then on top of that, uh, create a uh, router query engine uh, using summary tool and vector tool. Okay, now that you have a router query engine, uh, the next step is to test the queries, right? So here we have uh, one of the query, which is uh, what is summary of the document. And then as you can see, it used selecting query engine zero. The, if you go and check here, the uh, first query engine, which is summary tool, uh, and then creating a summarization for the given document. So, as I said, uh, it says the document has autobiography, let's say by Paul Graham and a lot of different things about the document. And then the next question is, what did Paul Graham do growing up? So it uses query engine one, which is second query engine, uh, which is vector tool. So since this question is about un answering using a specific context, it uses a second query engine, which is vector, uh, vector store index or vector query engine or, or the, the specific tool and then accordingly uh, generate an answer uh, specific by taking the specific context. So this way you can uh, use a uh, router query engine to route the user query to one of these indices or uh, if you have uh, multiple documents as well and you can even route to the multiple document or multiple indices accordingly. So next we'll look into sub question query engine uh, and how it can help you to answer complex queries. So in this notebook, we'll look into uh, using sub question query engine to uh, answer complex queries. Um, as the usual way, we'll go with the installation and setting up the Anthropic API keys and again, setting the LLM and embedding model and chunk size accordingly. Uh, next, we'll go with the logging mechanism. And here we'll use uh, over 10K filings and uh, lip 10K filings uh, for uh, experimenting with the sub question query engine. We'll load the document and then we'll index. Uh, we'll just go with the first 100 uh, pages of the document and then um, we'll create both the query engines, right? We'll just see uh, if uh, it is working perfectly or not. And, uh, and then by uh, asking sample questions for each of these query engines, and then we'll create tools uh, around these to select one of these uh, query engines. Uh, the live, uh, around lift query engine and then uh, over query engine accordingly. And then we'll create a uh, sub question query engine on top of these tools. Next, we'll start asking the question, which is compare revenue growth of Uber and Lyft from 2020 to 2021. So it created uh, these query plans. What is the Uber revenue in 2020 and then Uber revenue in 2021, Lyft revenue in 2020 and Lyft revenue in 2021. And it got uh, these individual answers and then finally generated a answer uh, showing the how Uber and uh, Lyft revenue grow from the specific years. Similarly, the next question is compare the investments made by Uber and Lyft. Uh, so it created a bunch of questions. What investment did Uber made in uh, 2021? Total amount of Uber, in, amount invested by Uber in 2021 and similarly for Lyft as well. Get answers for each of these things and then uh, finally get a consolidated answer. So that's how a uh, sub question query engine will help you to uh, create query plan and then uh, uh, answer complex queries. So I hope uh, you understood and uh, how you can use them with the uh, Anthropic Cloud A model. So thank you. See you in the next video.